Howdy guys, I'm Bubble Fortress. Welcome back to another episode of Kingdom Quest. And this video's, uh, well, this episode is gonna be a little different. Um, I've been away for about four months now. Uh, June 4th, it'll be four months since I've last posted, I think. But, I just wanted to go over what I've done. And, uh, you know, no nothing too special. So, one, uh, let me get off this FOV better. You can see I've changed my skin. I've still got the axolotl skin. I'm just wearing all of the creator, character creator items from the uh, 15 year birthday celebration thing for Minecraft. So that's why I've got a different skin on. Two, in the background you saw all these dogs here. I collected every breed of dog from the new Armored Paws update. Uh, 1.20.80 if you're Bedrock, 1.20.5 if you're Java. If you are job of watching these videos, um, hello. Did not know there was a little uh, cross crossbreeding viewership there. What did I just say? Anyway, speaking of crossbreeding, and I'm sure that was the first time that sentence has ever been said. Also, I do need to address that my gain uh, was accidentally bumped up a little bit on my mic so you can hear my fan uh, that's in my room in the background. Very sorry, it's just really hot. I was gonna put these all in um, a dog armory and have some armadillos in a little pen too. I already have a bunch of scoot here. I uh, still have yet to get the armadillos over here but uh, it was gonna be called armadagos instead of armadillos. So that's that building over there. Let's just head up. Oh okay good way to die there bubble fortress. Let's head over here and uh, this is the building that I've been working on for the past four months. It hasn't taken me four months to make this, but uh, it's actually going to be two buildings. It was going to be one connected building, but this building right here is going to be Armadagos, and it'll have a big fence that'll wrap around that side for the armadillos, and then a big fence that'll wrap around here with a little middle pathway uh, and a little archway for the doggos to cross. Uh, that'll be the doggo pen. But this right here will be Sunrise Sustenance because I wanted a Sunrise Cafe. This is the perfect spot and this barn roof here looks awesome. So I wanted to have a cool glass roof with it. I just haven't done it yet because they just announced that the trial, Tricky Trials, I was about to say Trials and Tales, um, the Tricky Trials update will be launching June 13th. And I expected the update to come July, so I thought I had time for this project. But, this has now been put on the back burner because of something cool that I want to do for the 1.21 update. So, uh, we will come back and revisit this uh, another time. So, the next thing that, you know, a returning viewer might notice, and I'm sure it's just a returning viewer that's watching this video. I doubt someone new is like, oh yeah, let's see where Bubble Fortress has been for the past four months. Um, I've got netherite armor, and I actually got netherite armor for, well, diamond armor netherite trims for Pizza Galaxy's armor stand here, and I got the armor for Kayla's subscriber armor stand. She's inside of here. And then, uh, since all the BIM didn't need an armor stand, she already has one in my Christmas Village, Yule Guard, that's, uh, past that mountain there. But, she did get an armor stand anyway because it is her subscriber house so I gave her a customer that is uh, sitting up here looking through some manuscripts seeing which book to buy and there we go it's just a zombie with some leather armor I uh, I just wanted to pop on I'm not dead uh, yet can't kill me just kidding I've died multiple times uh, in Minecraft what are you thinking I haven't gotten a lot done relatively in the four months but uh, a lot has happened in those four months. You know, Northern Lights happened because of a uh, solar storm. That was awesome. You know, check that off the bucket list. It was just an awesome experience. You know, I got to go outside with the fam and uh, see the Northern Lights. I mean, that's just crazy. It was right out of our yard. I got this really cool picture with our magnolia tree that's in the center of our yard. I, I got it right with the magnolia bloom. It's just so cool. 
I also saw the solar eclipse also in my yard. That was awesome. But speaking of going outside, it's it's summer, basically. You know, in the, in the south. It's pretty much summer as soon as it's mid-April. Uh, that means I go outside a lot more, you know? Playing play pickleball a, le- a lot. Uh, get to drill a lot. And then reading outside a lot more. Actually, I used to read a lot before I got my Nintendo Switch. Before I started playing Minecraft and Animal Crossing. And uh, I kind of stopped reading after I got that. Now I've just gotten into it. And, um, right, back into it. And, uh... I'm reading Lord of the Rings now. I've already read The Hobbit, and ooh, it's so it's so good. I got a bookshelf and a pen and quill for my birthday, so it just kind of settles the whole uh, area behind me here. I used to have all my books kind of scattered about the different places I had in our house, like my different desk or uh, random areas, but now they're all centralized, and it's really cool to see behind me like what books I need to read. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But like I said, uh, you know, it's it's summer. And there's a lot there's a lot of different stuff that I like to do other than play Minecraft. And you know, I don't want to get stuck inside all day. And I mean, to be honest, I'm not getting paid for this, though I do love it. I'm not getting paid for it, so there's no reason I should uh, prior- prioritize Minecraft over spending time with my real life doggos or my family, you know, or uh, training for uh, pickleball, you know, road road to pro. Also, while I wasn't recording or doing anything for Minecraft. I got to watch a lot of shows with my family and usually I don't do that because I'm like well I need to go work on my video or something like that but we actually watched the entire Game of Thrones series in like I think it was two weeks or something like that and we finished House of Dragon as well and got the Game of Thrones it was such a great series like We've watched Breaking Bad and Walking Dead and all that, but Game of Thrones was some top tier. I, w- I want to go back through it and re-watch it, because, you know, just in case I missed anything. God, Hold- Hodor's death was extremely sad. That was the worst part of the series there. Yeah, it was just, it was a lot of fun. Really chilling and stuff, you know? And I, I turned, turned 19 in March, so that was, that's weird. Getting close to the, the 20s there. But uh, we got to, we went to Texas, and I went to a cool bookstore because you know I like I like books, so that's that's why that happened. But it was really cool. It was in Denton, but you know, it was it was still a fun trip to go with my family, and uh, got some cool some cool books there. Anyway, uh, I do want to do a lot more in this world, and hopefully with the new update, I will get that done. I have a really cool idea planned for the new update, so. Uh, while we're talking about that, I need to get some stuff done in Portsfield. So, uh, first thing on the list here. Oh, wait, no, what am I thinking? <laughs> I forgot to show you one more thing. I got this 4 4 map filled out. Like, I literally just did it today. I took a whole video of time lapse with my phone on my mic, on my mic boom, and that way you could see it on my computer screen. So, we'll see how that turns out. I thought it might be a little, a uh, little cool to f- see how that turns out. Uh,. You know, hopefully this reading thing checks out. I could get a better vocabulary. First thing on the agenda is to get a new map for uh, Portsfield. We are stuck on episode 19, I believe. Now, uh, down here in the storage room. Hang on. Boop. You don't know what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. See, this is episode 19, and we have a lot to add. This is episode 32, maybe? 33? Uh, I lost track. I'm sorry. But... You know, we don't have the green, the diamond house, the green screen house, any of Sims of Bims or Kayla's shop right there. Uh, nothing over here. And uh, not to mention, you know, the giant church that's at... Trees. The giant chur- church that's out there that I started out is, is not started at is not on here. So we need to make a new app. Luckily, I've got all these. I just need to lock them. So I'll do that uh, real quick. Well, this is locked. I don't need to lock. I will need to lock these but at a different time. So I'm, I'm just not thinking. All right, so we just need to, uh, oh my goodness, the church is gonna look so cool. Let's just switch these out. Oh, that looks, that looks spectacular. Oh yeah, 
Wait, I don't even think uh, I got this on camera. There's a lot of clips that are missing because this, I mean, it was four months and I think I randomly deleted my storage without thinking for, for the clips, but I made a lake here. Hang on, I don't have a bed on me, but I made a lake and you could see the, the size of it, you know, looks kind of like Texas. That was not at all my intent. It was actually a, uh, an, a dip in the terrain there and you know, I may, I may still have this. I'm, it's, I think it's worth it to try and find that old clip there. But um, I just decided randomly to make it into a lake. And I think it turned out pretty cool. It's just a random feature to have, you know. All locked and loaded. We should actually uh, make copies of these. I don't think I have any paper. Did I? I think I mentioned... No, I don't think I did. I named all these. Uh, Atlas Adventure Light Helm. Atlas Adventure at Lytra, Atlas Adventure at Legguards, Atlas Adventure Trail Boots. And they've all got the uh, best enchantments that you can get on them. So that's very nice. Including the Atlas Adventure Curus. Also got new tools. I don't, uh, you saw them, but I didn't actually mention them. I just said Netherite Armor. And uh, for that, we've got Space Dad. I already had that one. But, you know, we've got Space Dad and he's got all the enchantments. All my tools have the best enchantments for them. We have Don't Mine at Night, Fortune Pickaxe, This Pick's a Miner, uh, Silk Touch Pickaxe, Redemption is my Silk Touch Shovel, Sh Saw Shank is my Axe, so Saw Shank Redemption, and then Nether's Light, which is my sword. Anyway, let's finally get done with this map. We need to get the paper, first of all, and then, uh, which we can get right here. Wait, can you not copy a locked map? Oh, just a slight bit of pain here. Boy, do I feel stupid. Okay, let's go down here. All right, so we're going to put that map here. We'll put this map here. Like that. We do need a sign, though. I'm sure I've got one in here. Just kidding. I've got one right here. That works. Boom. I'm sure you don't want to see this. But you're going to see it anyway see my efficient map building skills boy am I good at this well I wonder where this one goes all right that's a that's a pretty big difference I'd say in 23 episodes I don't know if that's if it's a good amount of difference or if it should be more but you know I'd say that looks all right uh, well, actually, we need, we do need to give these dogs some names. So, a couple of them do have names. We've got, uh, where are you? Okay, so we've got Ruby and Betty, back here. Those are my real life dogs. And then we've got Woody and Harrelson, those are the forest dogs. We've got Russ and Alloy, the rusty dogs. See what I did there? And then we've got the chestnut dogs, the uh, badland, wooded badlands dogs. I forgot what those were called. I think they're striped wolves. Um, spotted wolves, the black wolves. We've got another spotted wolf over here. Um, another forest wolf. Four more pale wolves, three ashen wolves, and two snowy wolves. So, put that back on screen there. Three black wolves, four spotted wolves, two chestnut wolves, there, <laughs> two striped wolves, one forest wolf, four pale, three ashen, and two snowy. And all of those need names. So, if you can name those, uh, give them some cool names, you know, come back through and give them your name that you want. It could be your username if your username is cool. Or it could be, you know, a, a good dog name. So, whatever you want to do. You know, give me some names. I'm repeating myself a bit. I haven't done this YouTube thing in a while. I've just been randomly doing stuff. So, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry this is a short episode. I mean, uh, without cutting right now, I'm at 24 minutes of runtime here. And a lot of that, you know, was not was not me talking so <laughs> it's gonna be rather a rather short episode but we did get that map done and uh, I've got a build that it did 
so you might have some uh, extra b-roll in there somewhere I don't know anyway thank you very much for watching I hope to see you then in the next season or next episode and thanks for clicking on the video thanks for waiting and as always stay bubbly I will see you next time Good. I just found Fantastic Mr. Fox.